Well, Omaha sets a record for tornado warnings issued so far this year, breaking the previous one set 20 years ago. So is this extreme weather something we should learn to live with? KETV Newswatch 7 Sarah Feely spoke with a climate expert for an outlook on these storms and future trends. I don't necessarily think we're fully out of the woods with severe weather. Eric Hunt combs through data in his University of Nebraska office. He's an extension educator of agricultural meteorology and climate resilience. He says this spring storms can be tied back to a high pressure system off Alaska. El Nino tends to have a strong, stronger subtropical jet stream, which brings in you know stormier conditions into the southern part of the U.S. and can make things stormier here. He says the good news is we're transitioning to a La Nina and a likely weaker one than in years past, but still. The system in place now is causing issues in Nebraska, and it's breaking records dating back to 1986 for the National Weather Service Omaha office. I believe they've issued 91 tornado warnings uh, in 2024 so far. That would actually be a record for, even if we had no more tornado warnings for the remainder of the year, that would be a record. Hunt says while storms themselves can't be directly linked to climate change, a warming planet can, and that can impact the weather. We would expect with a changing climate, with warming temperatures, warming lower atmosphere, that we we're going to have the potential to have more significant droughts, more significant flood events, things like that, and certainly more what we kind of call a uh, whiplash. He says Nebraska's seen that this spring alone, with the past week's rainfall taking the metro from a serious drought to extreme wetness. Those huge swings could become more common. I think what we should anticipate is more extreme weather events, uh, things that we maybe we think of happening only once in 100 or 500 years. They Maybe you're going to be once every 10 or every 50 years, maybe maybe once every two or five years. Hunt says it's on humans to start working towards a more carbon neutral future. If not, it'll mean more serious weather and environmental concerns. I think we're just going to, have to be prepared for a climate that's just more volatile and extreme than what we have traditionally experienced and are at least our most of our human lifetimes. All of these tornado warnings in here. Hunt says in the short term, it's important to pay attention oh to gosh, forecasts so and be prepared, but it'll take long term plans to slow these patterns. We're just going to have to learn to uh, live with this on some level. Sarah Feely, KETV, Newswatch 7.